Hi everybody, my name's Claire and I play in Alba's band. I'm a percussionist, so that means that my family of instruments that I play um, are all things that you hit, shake, rattle, roll, do anything kind of crazy. Sometimes you have to smash plates, sometimes you're playing a wind machine. Um, so we get all the fun stuff in the percussion department. Um, but I'm going to show you a few instruments that I've got ho at home. Um, I do not have a wind machine lying around at home, sadly. Um, but this one here is a tuned percussion instrument called a xylophone. So here the notes are made from wood and the layout of the xylophone, so how you find your notes, are exactly the same as on a piano. So these ones are the one with top, which you can see are in a two, a three, two, three, all the way along. I like the black notes on a piano and these ones here, I like the white notes. The metal percussion instruments are the glockenspiel, so that's the twinkly twinkly star sort of one, bing, bing, and, um, and the vibraphone. But the one we're going to listen to is the xylophone. So the notes on the xylophone, because they're wooden, make a really short sound, really short, really sharp, although they slightly resonate because they're pitched. But here we go, here, so have a little listen. <laughs> so the range of a xylophone is normally four octaves, this one is three and a half, anything between three and four octaves, um, and it's always at the upper end. So here I'm going to play you a little bit from Carnival of the Animals um, by Sanson, and it's his fossils movement. So I think the xylophone is perfect to represent like the bones knocking together um, as the fossils dance. So here's a bit of fossils for you. Okay, so this instrument I've got in front of me here is an, an untuned percussion instrument and it's called the snare drum. The reason for that is that, I put my sticks down, underneath here, there's some wires, if you can see them, and they are called snares. Now at the moment they're quite loose and I can actually fit my hand underneath the snares between them and the, the skin um, because this handle on the side, oh, if I pull it up, there, you could hear them touching the bottom. So now they're really nice and tight across the bottom head. So if I play the drum while the snares are off, so I'll put that lever down again. There, so um, you get that sound. And then if I lift it up, so you can hear that they've gone on. So then you get that traditional snare drum sound. Now I'm just going to tell you a little secret, so you're not allowed to tell anybody, but I'm going to give you the secret of how we do a drum roll. And everybody always asks me, how do you do it? Do you go really fast and how do you maintain it? Such a long time, but the answer is we actually cheat a little bit. So what I'm going to do is a little bit like when you have a bouncy ball, bounce it and let it dribble out. So it goes boing, 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 boing. That's what we do with a stick. So we make sure we've got a really good grip and then we play and we let the stick do lots and lots of notes. And then we do it with the other one. And then basically we overlap them. So we, I'll just show you by getting a little bit faster and then I'll get into a rhythm. And my hands are not going very fast, so. you do a drum roll so you can you can mix it up so my hands are going to go the same speed and you can hear the difference when I'm buzzing them where I'm multiple bouncing squashing into the drum and when I'm not so you can hear the difference there so I'm just going to play a little excerpt from a piece from the planet suite by Gustav Holst um, called Mars um, and this is interesting because it's in five um, there's five beats in a bar. So the words I'm going to use are, I like to play with Albert's band. I like to play with Albert's band. One, and a two, three, four, and five. So when you listen to this, 
Um, I'd like you to think about that and there's a great bit where the snare drum comes in and it's really loud and it's the coolest bit ever. Um, so that's this bit, so I'm just going to play you lots and lots of those. It's a really awesome part, so if you listen to that, it's great. And actually that rhythm, it goes throughout the whole piece, so you can say it all the way through if you like. Um, so, on to my next instrument. Okay, so the last instrument I'm going to show you today, um, you can see here it's another tuned percussion instrument and the notes are made of wood, so it's really, really closely related to the xylophone, which we saw earlier. Um, but this one's called a marimba. Um, it's, this particular one is four and the third octave, so we've got one, two, three, four, and a little bit at the bottom, but they can go up to five octaves, so they get really big and the notes get really fat at the bottom. Um, we play them with soft sticks and they've got a much more mellowed sound. So if you listen to the bottom, you can hear straight away how different this is from the xylophone, which we heard earlier. Um, so I'm going to finish by playing you some Bach. <laughs> 